So here we can see the number of total tasks, number of tasks done. Let's try to have one more thing and that will be uh, clear completed so that the tasks which are completed, we can get rid of those tasks from our display list. So before that, let's do some housekeeping here. Instead of having number of total tasks, we can just change it to all. And here, instead of having number of total tasks done, we can just say completed. And since we are showing completed, let's also show pending. So for pending, it is very simple. All we need to do is flip total task, which is not done. So let's just check it out first. So we have all three completed, one pending, two. This is good. And the last one would be ahf clear completed so right now this link will not do anything but it will just display that clear completed when we click on it nothing will happen so in order to handle it let's try to have a method called handle clear completed so before we do this implement the method Let's have on click this dot handle clear completed dot bind this. And here we'll try to implement the method handle clear completed. As an argument, we'll get the event. And here we'll get the new to do's. So we need to get the new to do's from this dot state dot to do's. So what do we need to do here? We need to filter. So the first argument of the filter is to do. And then we have the function. So here we need to do return to do dot done. In fact, it's the opposite of return like all the to do's which are not done and then we can do this dot set state so what we need to do is uh, we need to get the new to do's which are not yet done and set the to do's as as those uh, to do's so that the cleared so that the to do's which are done they are cleared so we'll do to do's and new to do's okay so let's try that so i have already bread is marked as and if i clear clear completed nice so let me add a few more apple grapes and if i mark apple and grapes as done Completed is two, pending is one, and clear completed. And pay attention to this number two. So when I do clear completed, do you see you see that the number has automatically updated? So unlike previous world, when we were handling these kind of state management using jQuery, I had to manually go and keep track of the fact that now that this list has, has been reduced, the number of completed is zero so i had to manually go get the dom and update the value but in the case of react js yes, we are concerned about what is the state and if we change the state and everything is wired correctly and everything is connected to the state properly then views are automatically updated so we had said that completed the number of completed item it depends on the state this dot state dot to do's dot filter and then done so as long as we are doing the state work properly, all the views are automatically updated. And this is, uh, this is one of the reasons why React.js is so popular and it is so good.